Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome to Metal Tips and Tricks. Today, I want to talk about one-inch dial indicators and what is the real difference between a $15 one from Harbor Freight compared to a Starrett, which is about 10 times the price. What is the advantage of the Starrett over this one? Well, there's not a lot, to be honest. I've tested both of them. They measure identical to each other. No matter what I've done, they always come out the same. One of the great advantages to this, if I drop it, damage it, throw it, spit on it, whatever, it's only $15. I'm not going to be out, you know, 150 bucks. So they're a great tool to have around the shop, especially if you know it's going to get damaged. Like I say, I've got my A tools and my B tools. This is definitely a B tool. But one thing that it falls short in, and this is something I want to talk about, is the pressure that this probe gives you. And that's the real difference. The spring on this is not the quality that it is on the Starrett or like on this old Ames gauge, which I just love this. I've got a set of these that are beautiful. And these are accurate to one ten thousandths of an inch. Well, when you develop accuracy like that, the spring pressure back has to be very subtle, or it'll move your part or give you a false reading. And that's what is the difference between the Chinese and the American-made Starrett, is the pressure of this probe. So let me show you. I've got a scale set up here, and it's set up to ounces. So I'm just going to push this down. So we're at about 2.2, 2.6. But as I continue down, as you can see, the numbers are starting to rise quite a bit. I'm at six, around six at one inch. So you can see how much the pressure has changed. It's gone from three ounces to six ounces. It's almost doubled. Now with the Starrett, starts out Oh, just shy of two, and as I keep going down to one inch, it's around three, a little over three. So, as you can see, its spring is adjusted better. It doesn't change as much as it continues through the stroke of the probe. And it's about half the pressure of the Chinese one. Now, the reason I bring this up is you need to know all of your tools and what their strengths and weaknesses are so you can work with them. If you are using this gauge on a very weak arm, not like this Noga, well, that arm could bend. Or if the part's really thin and coming out away from the vise or the jaws, it could bend that. And those are the things that we have to look at. And those are things you have to be concerned with. If you're working on big parts that are two inches in diameter, five inches in diameter, whatever, either gauge is excellent. You know, I would probably stay with the cheaper gauge just because if I dropped a 50-pound part on it, I wouldn't care. I'd just go to the store and buy another one for $15. But with that being said, I hope I didn't jinx myself or any of you guys either. So that's kind of the difference between these gauges is really what I can see the biggest difference that affects us in using them is the feedback that probe gives back to the part. And those are things you just need to know about. Well, we're at the end of another quick video for Friday. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. As you can see, I've changed up my format a little bit, trying to get more videos out for you guys. I do have a bunch of machining videos coming up. I think you're going to really, really like, especially because there's some great ideas in them. There's some time savers. There's some um, things that you can use in the shop that you're going to really, really love. All right, guys, give me some thumbs up and some positive comments. Until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.